Camelos Radio, RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta. RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta, Camelos Radio. Yeah, Zulu Victor Delta is just taxiing out of the flying club, uh, run up to Duke 23, then departure to the east. Zulu Victor Delta, Camelot Radio, uh, Roger. And uh, you can line up and depart your discretion. Zulu Victor Delta. And off I go. Pop off. Temperatures are good. Yeah, Mr. Radio, good morning. It's uh, the LC14. Fox Star Zulu, Mr. Tango. Well, 214, Foxtrot Zulu Victor Tango, Camelot Radio, good morning. Good morning, ma'am, make a check, Foxtrot Zulu Victor Tango is uh, running at 100% percent of the forestry pad here on the west side. And we'd like you to depart, we'll be, uh, I'll be going southwest down, climbing to 4,000. And if it doesn't interrupt anything, I'd like to grab a, a dip in the lake with the bucket before I leave, but I don't have to if it's going to create any confusion. Zulu Victor Tango, Roger, wind 1502, altimeter 3002. And um, you can squawk 2475 and no problem with the uh, pickup. Okay, appreciate that. 2475 on the dial and uh, Zulu Victor Tango's with things this time. Roger. So, oh, good Monday morning. Second flight in three days. Uh, the air cleared out absolutely spectacular yesterday. Uh, we had, un well, basically unlimited visibility. And uh, today the smoke has settled back in just a little bit. It's not too, too bad here right now. I'd say, well, I'd call it hazy and probably oh, a good 20 mile visibility, I'm sure. So I'm off to Salmon Arm this morning. I'm trying out a few different things. I, uh, just during my recent annual inspection, I installed uh, USB ports underneath the wings. So hopefully the uh, problems with batteries running out will be a thing of the past. So as long as I'm supplying power to my nav lights, I'll be supplying power to uh, the cameras. So we'll try that out. I tested it on the ground, it seemed to work. And now we've got 150 knot uh, slipstream to test it out in. So with any luck, it'll work out uh, the way I want it to. Just uh, coming up here now on the Highway 97 interchange and off to the southeast it is pretty murky. I'll just uh, turn over this way a little bit. There is a restricted um, airspace no tan for just south of the highway so I can't dip down there too far. But I can see smoke coming off the tops of the hills and the, uh, the valley going down towards Falkland and uh, Vernon is, it's pretty murky. So 
very unfortunate. So a very unfortunate situation going on for those folks. But hopefully there will be some more firefighting going on there today and they can get a handle on that fire. 1267 traffic, vicinity of Monte Creek, RV6, Gulf and Zula, Victor Delta is at 5,500 feet eastbound following the highway to Salmonar. Gulf Zula, Victor Delta. So, level at, uh, well, 5,600, should be 5,500, but uh, 2,350 RPM, burning 7.5 gallons per hour with a truer speed of 153, grounding 148. So, ZBD is uh, working out quite well after that last... Uh, Bit of unexpected maintenance during the annual. Salmon Arm is a trip that I've done many times, so, but haven't been out here now in a few months. Again, because of the maintenance and the smoke situation, but uh, should be clear enough there today. So, Salmon Arm is 1,751 feet above uh, sea level. The pattern altitude of 3,000 feet. And we have a runway 1432. Last week, this whole area, including the uh, town of Chase, was under an evacuation alert. But I guess uh, either the fire didn't uh, progress the way they anticipated and they called off the alert. But uh, the, the alert was cancelled nonetheless. Just coming up on uh, the western shore of Shushwap Lake. And uh, looks like the visibility is dropping down up ahead. Down to, uh, well, maybe 10 miles. Now I am still in the smoke. I did not climb up above the smoke layer. But it's definitely looking murkier off towards uh, the east end of Shushwap Lake. Salmon Arm traffic, RV6 Golf, Zulu Victor Delta is 16 miles to the north. Inbound full stop landing overhead the field for a wind check in about seven minutes. Golf Zulu Victor Delta. Salmon Arm traffic, RV6, Golf, Zula, Victor, Delta 10 to the north, inbound, full stop landing. Overhead uh, in about four minutes. Golf, Zula, Victor, Delta.
right now I'm showing seven miles from the airport and I just caught sight of the airport, so that's about what the visibility is here right now. And if I didn't know the area, I probably still wouldn't be seeing the airport. It's just kind of a gray splotch out in the, uh, in the smoke there. Salmon Arm Traffic, RV6, call to the Victor Delta 5 miles to the uh, north. Overhead the field in uh, two minutes for a wind check. Call to the Victor Delta. Having a terrible time. I replaced the, uh, the rubber button covers on my push to talk switches and they're really wobbly and floppy. Salmon Arm Traffic, A Star Tango, India Alpha, currently six miles to the uh, northeast for inbound. Suddenly 4,000, that's main appeal, so 4 minutes, I'll take the tango to the outfit, 99, 7 hours. Salmon Arm Traffic, RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta, now 3 miles to the uh, northwest of the field, crossing overhead at 3,500 for wind check. GIA checks will be uh, inbound from the northeast, we'll be looking for you. I'm just coming up on the uh, half a mile from the uh, north end of the runway there now. Okay, no conflict. Uh, we're still uh, three miles to the northeast. Simon Arm Traffic, RV6, Golf Azula, Victor Delta Crossing Midfield at uh, 3,200 descending and uh, looks like the uh, wind is out of the south so setting up for a left hand downwind uh, runway 14 Salmon Arm Traffic, RV6, Golf Zula, Victor Delta is on runway 14, backtracking for Alpha. Pre takeoff checklist canopy is closed and locked. Harnesses are secure. Trim is. Set for takeoff. Flaps not required. Mixture to full rich. Fuel pump on, car peak cold. Magnetos is on both. Landing light and probe lights on. Time off will be at noon. Salmon Arm Traffic, RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta taking position and departing runway 14, left turn north uh, towards Shushwap, then on to uh, Kamloops. Golf Zulu, Victor Delta. Alright, fuel pump is on, everything is on, mixture to full rich, flaps are up. Off we go.
accelerate to 105. Traffic R6 Gulf Zulu, Victor Gulf is off runway 14 and uh, turning north towards Shoe Schwab, uh, climbing in the downwind. Traffic RV6 Gulf Zulu Victor Delta is clear to the north through uh, 4,800, climbing up to 6,500. One, two, six, seven. Traffic vicinity of Salmon Arm RV6 Gulf Zulu Victor Delta just off Salmon Arm, climbing northbound uh, towards Shoe Schwab Lake, just through 5,200 for 6,500, and westbound towards Kamloops Gulf Zulu Victor Delta. There's 6,500. Not quite through the top of the smoke. Pretty close. So Monty Lake is just down here where the smoke gets a bit thicker and you can maybe see there's a, a fire burning on the top of that hill. So it's pretty murky down towards uh, down towards Monty Lake, but I'm going to stay up here north of the highway just to avoid the restricted airspace. I can see the fire burning on several hilltops there now.
Oh yeah, it's burning pretty good there. That's going to make a real quick turn to the south. This whole hill right in front of me here is uh, burning. Camel 30 or RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta. RV6, Golf Zulu, Victor Delta. Camel 30. Zulu, Victor Delta is 20 to the east inbound, estimating in about uh, nine minutes. Delta Roger, squad guide at runway 27, wind 180 at 5, altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. And uh, traffic, the 7 mile final runway 27 for a simulated uh, force landing is a Zodiac. I'm not sure what the intentions are after that. Do a Victor Delta check the traffic straight on runway 27. Do Victor Delta, Roger, runway 27. Do a Victor Delta 2 mile final uh, 27, uh, full stop and uh, I'll uh, be backtracking, I guess, with the uh, taxiway closed. To the Victor Delta, Roger. Pop off the uniform uh, camera at radio. The uh, RV6 is on final uh, runway 27. They're going to be backtracking for uh, Echo. Can you extend your downwind? 